Hey guys, what is going on? My name is the Tourette Gamer, but you can call me TTG, and we just got it. At approximately 1.09 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we got the hot fix update for January 18th. Now, let's get right into it. I do not want to make this a long video. I just want to get you the real deal. I just want to get you all the adjustments for the weapon tune-ins, and I just want to get you everything on the update. I will post a link in the comment section on the Reddit on the on the hot on the hot fix itself so let's get started the fg42 got a buff the recoil got a buff and this and it had a slight rate fire rate buff excuse me so the recoil got better on this gun because the recoil on this gun was awful and we get a fire rate so the fg42 trying to kind of making its way back into the uh good side now the grease gun now the grease gun got a little buff um, the recoil was adjusted to give player more control and the ADS transition time was a buff that is huge because the grease gun was probably one of the worst SMGs with the ADS transition time uh, meaning the sprint out time so that got a buff so now grease gun possibly one of the better SMGs now uh, I'm telling you with grip and advanced rifle in the grease gun is amazing now, the CAR-98 got a nerf for its ADS transition time, their, its sprint out time. So for all you quick scopers out there, well guess what? It's going to be a little bit harder to quick scope with the CAR-98K, so that definitely got a nerf. Also with a nerf is the Lee Enfield, same kind of nerf. I'm sorry, it was a buff. The ADS transition time got a buff. I'm, I'm trying to read this and talk at the same time. So the CAR-98 got a sprint out time nerf, and the Lee Enfield got an eight, an, a sprint out time buff. So maybe they'll swap. Maybe we'll see more quick scoping with the Lee Enfield. Um, Now, the combat shotgun got a slight max damage range nerf, but an overall buff to where it was at the launch of the game. So maybe we won't see, you know, people getting mapped across map with this combat shotgun. But it's still where it was at the launch of the game. And the sawed-off shotgun finally got a buff. For those of you who are having trouble with the sawed-off shotgun, the max and mid-damage range got a buff. And it also got a buff to the number of pellets to kill. Also, we have a reload time buff and a hip spread nerf. So, with the hip spread nerf, you're just not going to be able to hip fire. Um, I mean, the hit detection on that gun was kind of weird anyways. Uh, you can be aiming 10 feet to the right and still get a kill. They fixed that, but they did buff the reload time and the buff of the numbers pellets to kill. And they also buffed the max and mid damage range. Now, that's it for the weapons. As far as maps, they moved the defensive start spawns in search and destroy on St. Marie Dumont. And they also moved capture the flag positions back on London docks. So there it is, guys. That is the hot fix update we got for January 18th. Uh, you heard it first here on TTG, guys. Uh, stay tuned. Stay tuned because we're probably going to be getting a lot more stuff within the next couple of days. Don't forget to like this video. Subscribe if you're new for more content every day of Call of Duty World War II. And hit that notification bell to join the Bark March. Anyways, guys, stay cool, fool. Don't hate. Eat some cake, thick thighs, and bright eyes. And as always, guys, keep on grinding. Thank you for watching the video, guys. I appreciate all the love and support you guys show me. Don't forget to do what the screen says. Like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Also, please follow me on my social media links. Thank you, guys, and have a great day. Thank you